Right, here's the um, Sid Barrett book from Essential Works. The uh, long-awaited photo book. I don't show them my address. <laughs> so, this, uh, I've not opened it yet. I'm going to um, do it now and record it for posterity. So, I am, uh, I've got the normal edition, not the... Um, Expensive edition with the two books. I'm afraid I couldn't stretch that far. Hmm. Two caterpillars there. And here's the book. Oh, that's it's well and truly stuck in there. So I'm going to cut this out without damaging anything. It's very dangerous to have a a knife this sharp so close to a book so expensive. Right, I'm a bit anal about my covers, so let's move that out of the way. I'm going to see if I can keep this little bit of plastic on just for a while. So, again, highly dodgy when you've got an expensive book to put a sharp standing knife that close to it, but hey ho. Sid Barrett, Russell Beecher and Will Shoots. That's the cover. No, sorry. That's the back cover. I have washed and disinfected my hands. <laughs> I haven't got any kid gloves to wear, so... So that's the front. Anything on the back? No. <coughs> have a look then. So this first section is an introduction. Yep, see that one? That's been printed before, but only in uh, reference to this book, so that's a lovely picture there, that's lain hidden since 1964, oh I've never seen it a couple of unseen, no one in unseen photograph there, that's new to me the others have been printed before but in other publications and of lesser quality never seen that one before Sid helping friends decorate their house August 64 seen loads of times but nice to see in here again that one's been that one's been in a fanzine before, but uh, not printed from as a photograph. That's been out on the website. Is he in there? Oh yeah, just just there with Sid with Libby. Don't get too close. <laughs> that's appeared on the website. Now that has been out before, but that's the first time I've ever seen it in colour. That was in the Crazy Diamond book. Sid from 1981 with Rosemary and his mother. <coughs> These have all been printed before in various publications, but uh, again, not in that quality. There's loads taken that day, but again, that's uh, top quality. Those have been printed before, but that's obviously a publicity postcard. That's a new one good shot there that's another one of that, from that series again nice to have but seen before those are great never seen those before very psychedelic <coughs> loads of those and they're all very samey um, there's quite a few shots taken um, there but they're all so far away and the band aren't jumping around or dancing are they so one shot looks more or less the same as the other, but still, nice to have one. These are brand new. Never seen those before. 
colour shots of them playing at the Roundhouse on 15th of October 1966. Nope, they've never been seen before. Seen that one before. That one was used on the book co cover of a book about London clubs. That was the first time I saw that, but again, it's uh, nice to see it in there. That one's been... I've seen that one before. That's new. That's common. October 66. There's quite a few taken here that um, are out, out and about, but that one's a, a new one on me. That one I've seen, we've got already. Seen that before. Same, both of these. First time I've seen the colour one. Good pictures. Seen them before. Shots of them in playing live in colour always look much better because of the colours they used for light shows. They tend to be a bit blurry. Oh, I've never seen that one before. Taken at the same place, but not seen that one before. Oh, seen one of them. One of them surfaced in Mojo a couple of years ago, but never, not that one. That's a new. These, I first saw these, these were printed in the Amazing Pudding, from the fanzine, Pink Floyd fanzine, but as it was like a photocopied affair, they were very bad quality, so these are the shots that make up the extra book, which you have to pay another, like, four grand for. It's not that much, but might as well be. Um, that the, the other book you get is full of shots from these, I think. I think this, I'm right, Irene Winsby photographs. That surfaced not long ago on the internet, but that's in perfect quality. Never seen that one before. That one of them surfaced in a Dutch book, but that's an alternate shot, so that's the second one. So there's, there was two taken that day, at least two anyway. But never, not seen that one before. Ruskin Park. These, there's hundreds, well not hundreds, but there's loads taken that day. Um, pretty common, but I don't know, you know how. How long is it till all the shots are seen? Every now and again, three or four shots seem to turn up. Oh, that was um, that's that's a new one, Ruskin Park. There's yet again, there's another new one. These were taken the same day they did um, that Arnold Lane, um, the fan club promo video. They're wearing the same clothes. And so was that. That's never been seen before. That's new. So all three of those have never seen before. Never. S That's a good shot. It's amazing how these photographs, like how some of them have, have leaked out, because there's there's pictures of them in all them clothes in that on this day taken. There's one of them by a tree that was used. I saw that on a cover of a uh, Tower Records magazine way back in the early 90s. Um, but it's weird how some shots are all over the place and yet. More, more more were taken yet have only just been used that was the cover of a a book I mean it first surfaced in a fanzine one of John Kelly's fanzines chapter 24 and it was just a, it was just a photocopy and it looked horrible barely marked out what it was but that was uh, that turned up on the cover of in a Dutch book called In De Polder and that was the cover and I I bought basically bought the book for the cover because I can't read it because it's in Dutch come on Nice to see, but common. That's the rehearsal for the games for May. Again, I've seen it before. More re games for May. Games for May. Games for May. It's nice to see these actually, because these have been on the net for ages, but it's nice to see them actually in a book. I've seen a couple in magazines, but it seems to be they've got almost all the shots there. Oh, uh, these are ones taken at Piccadilly. What was it? Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, there's quite a few. There's a really famous one of them. Is it in here? No. Really common one that was used all um, postcards in the early nights. If you went in a record shop and you wanted to see about a Pink Floyd postcard, it was one of them at Piccadilly Gardens. But these two are brand new. Never seen them before. So that's two more of laid hidden away since they were taken on the ferry to Copenhagen that's new 
never seen that. New shots. Brand new. Brand new radiophonic workshop. Seen before Savile Theatre, that's the junkyard photo shoot. That's been floating around on the net. Wood five man photo shoot, so they've not turned up any new photographs. I think there's only five that have turned up for that, the five man shoot. And then we go on to solo. Right, I'm not going to go through the rest. I'm going to have a quick flick. Um, but, yeah. It does. It has. They have um, unearthed an awful lot of stuff that's never been seen before. This is the letter section. Let's have a, just have a flick through. Otherwise you'll get bored. But, if you're a Sid Barrett, especially, if you're a Sid Barrett fan, especially if you're into photos and stuff like I am, then there's no way that I could be, that's a new photograph, very young Sid Barrett there, there's no way that I would uh, be able to leave this on the shelf, it's going to be one of them ones that I'm going to have to wash my hands <laughs> every time I want to pull it out, and uh, I think I'll be, these are the photographs that Sid, uh, photographs that Sid took of his works of art before he destroyed them works of art that still exist there Fart and Joy yet again I mean that first turned up at Mo where did that turn up first? in Mojo that turned up first then it was in the Piper reissue with a page missing let's see if they've got the, the censored page in here oh yeah they wouldn't print that in the uh, EMI wouldn't let them put that page in the uh, CD in case that woman saw herself and then sued or something like that. Just ridiculous. So just print it out, get it off the net, print it out. So I, yeah, that's what I did. I printed it out again, stuck it in the book. I saw these, most of these in Cambridge when I went to the um, exhibition that they had of Sid's artwork there after he died. So there you go. And at the back you've got the roll of honour of all the people who ordered the book, um, pre-ordered the book, so I should be here somewhere. <coughs> there, no, there. Can you see? Oh yeah. But then, I was also told I'd get a mention in the acknowledgements. Oh, and I have. There, Mark Jones. Anyway, I haven't said how much was this. I can't remember how much it was now. It was about 70 quid. I didn't even say. Well, if I could have a look through it first, then buy it, I would have still bought it. So, what can I say? If you're a Sid fan and you're into photographs, as well as the music, then you're going to have to get it, I'm afraid. Simple as that.